Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel and in today's video we will be creating a VPN server. So the tool that we are going to use for the VPN server is called OpenVPN. We will create an OpenVPN server on Amazon EC2 instance. Then we will connect multiple clients on it. And then we will also assign the static IP. So whenever the VPN server start restart, you won't lose the IP. And the IP address won't change at all. So without wasting time, let's get started. So first thing you have to do is you have to create an instance or if you have already created, then you don't have to create one. And once you have logged into the AWS, click on launch instance and give it any name that you want. So I will just give it open VPN server. And from here, just choose you want to because we will be creating the instance on Ubuntu and from here choose the instance type actually you won't need to have a instance with high memory or CPU because we need something that that has the high network bandwidth so I will just choose T2 micro which is free and then we will just create a key pair and let me just give it a name open VPN server and here's the key type if you're using Windows then go for the PPK but in my case I'm using Ubuntu so I will choose the PEM and then click on create key pair and now the key is downloaded and now from here we have to allow some rules after we create the EC2 instance but for now just leave it as it is and then you can choose the storage as much as you need and after selecting everything just click on launch instance and then instance will be created within less than a second and now our instance is created just open it and the status isn't, isn't pending Once it's in running state, we can just SSH into the instance. Okay, as you can see, the instance is in running state now. Just copy the IP address of the instance and open your terminal. Let me just open a new tab and my key is in downloads. So let me just type SSH-I and the name of the key, which is open VPN server and then the username which is Ubuntu and the IP address of the server and just type yes okay so we are getting this error because the key has open permissions so to fix this issue just type ch mode 700 and the name of the key and now it will SSH into the server as you can see we have logged into the server and after logging into the server what we have to do is we have to switch to the root user using the sudo su and now just uh, I will provide this link in the description so once you have opened the link just scroll down a little bit and here you can see the steps that we have to follow so just copy this command from here and create a folder wherever you want so let me just create it in the Ubuntu home and then move into the folder and now we have to download the script yes once the, scre once the script is downloaded we have to give it executable permissions so as you can see we don't have the executable permissions right now so to give the executable permissions we have to type ch mode plus x and then the name of the file and once it have the executable permissions we have to execute the script so to execute the script just type dot slash and then the name of the script so now it's telling you to give it 
the public IP address, which is, uh, let me just copy the IP address from here. This is my public IP address. So just remove the default IP address and give it the public IP address and then hit enter. And now it's asking if you want to allow the IPv6 support. So I'm, gonna, I'm, go, I'm just going to give it no. And then from here you can choose the port. So you can just select the custom port or give it any random port. But I'm just going with the default port which is 1194. So just hit enter again. And now it's asking us for the protocol that we're going to use. We can use both but the UDP is actually faster than the TCP. So we will choose the UDP protocol. And from here we have the DNS resolver. So I'm going to use the Google DNS. And it's asking us to enable the compression. So just give it no. And then from here we have to customize the encryption settings. So just type yes. And from here go with the default values, which is AES120128. And now just hit enter again. So it's installing the packages now, which will take only a few minutes depending on your internet speed. Now it's asking us for the client name. So the client name will be the name of the client that you want to connect the VPN to. So I'm just going to give it a underscore one or I can also give it client underscore one. And here you have two options. You can either use a passwordless client or a password client. So in the password client, whenever the client try to connect to the VPN server, it will ask for the password and I'm just gonna use the passwordless client and now it has generated the client file in the Ubuntu home and here's the client file. So if you go one step back, as you can see we have the client here. So let's just copy the client to our local machine. Let me just open this and from here just type ssh-i and then the key name so my key is in downloads and then the key name and the username of the server and the IP address of the server then call in slash and then the name of the VPN client So what we have done here, okay, so we are supposed to type SCP not SSH to securely copy the remote, to securely copy the files from the remote server to our local machine. So as you can see, we have successfully downloaded the client file and now we can run it using the OpenVPN command. So make sure you have the OpenVPN client installed and if you don't have it installed, then you can type apt install open VPN so as you can see I have already already installed it so I don't have to install it again and after installing it just type open VPN hyphen hyphen config and then the name of the file also you have to run, run this command with the sudo writes
so it's connecting to the server now okay so we have to allow the port 1194 from the aws let's just go to the instance and from here you can go to the security and from security just open the security group and then we have to add the inbound tool click on edit inbound tool and from here we have to add a rule called custom udp and the port will be 1194 and the ip address that it will listen on will be all and just save the rule and now we will be able to connect to the server as you can see we have successfully connected to the vpn server now let's just verify our ip as you can see we got the same ip as the vpn server and now uh, let's see what ip we got here so we got 10.8.0.2 so if i restart the vpn server the ip will change and to fix the ip address what we can do first let's just restart the server and verify if the ip is changing or not so the server is restarting now and once it's, it's restarted just connect to it again okay so the server server is still restarting and now we can just connect to the vpn again and see what ip we are getting this time okay so we are getting the same ip because there's only one client connected to it so that's why it's not changing the ip but if you have multiple clients and the server restart the ip will change automatically so to fix that ip what you have to do is go to the opt open vpn uh, i think it's var open vpn mm, let's just check the directory Okay, so it's etc open VPN. And here we have to open the server.conf first. So we have to check the client config directory, which is etc open VPN ccd. And in the ccd directory, we have to create a client configuration let's just move to the sudo user and create a file with the name of the client so in my case the client was client underscore one and here you have to type if, if config hyphen push and then the IP address that you want to assign to the client which is let me just assign it 10.8.0.10 and then the subnet mask which will be 255.255.255.0 in my case so let's just save it and restart the vpn service okay so we have to restart it and now if we connect to the vpn server we will get the IP that we specified in the server.config so as you can see we got the 
10.8.0.10 IP address. Let me just type IPA again and you can see now this IP is fixed. Even if we restart the server, the IP won't change at all. So this is the video for today. Thank you for watching the video. Make sure to subscribe the channel. Take care and have a nice day. Goodbye.